Okay, hey, what's up guys? Victor Vic Boss Chand, and in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that if anyone can figure out what's in this, I give him a shout out. While nobody has actually guessed what was inside, the closest went to Shazlin, so yet again, she gets another shout out from me. So I'm gonna show everybody what's inside here. That's all it is, guys. It's a rock. Sorry to disappoint anybody, but yeah, check out Shazlin's channel. I can't say enough good things about her channel. She makes good songs. She make she talks about good things. Go check her out. You won't be disappointed. And that's another shout out for you, love. Now, at first, when I woke up this morning, I really didn't know what I was gonna talk about, but then it hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the history of Von Chan, like any other thing that happens in life, everything starts very innocently. Now, with what I mean by that is it all basically started with two little kids that love Jackie Chan. Um, myself and Paul were huge Jackie Chan fans and um, I think Jackie Chan's really what pushed Paul into learning martial arts. I mean, when I first met him, he had no knowledge of um, martial arts and I, I, I did but um, it was very very little like I learned whatever my family knew but yeah basically um, in the beginning uh, it, it came down to one move called the kick up or the nip up or the flip up or whatever you want to call it now I was the first to learn that move out of all our friends and then uh, I remember Paul saying, hey, hey, telling his cousin, he's like, hey, check this guy out. He, he can do the things they can do in the movies, you know, the, 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 the flip up. And, you know, I, I was just all right, yeah, I, 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 can, I, can, I can do the stuff they can do in the movies, man. But, um, yeah, I'm not that cool. I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just that guy. I'm just another guy, you know. Eventually, Paul started going to a uh, martial arts school called Sun Hang Do. And... Eventually he got that um, urge to make a movie and we knew a guy that had like a little camera and with that little camera we recorded uh, two fight scenes one on a trampoline and one in my backyard uh, both incomplete projects um, but that guy ended up fucking off and we're like you know what we, we really want to make a movie you know a short movie and um, next thing you know Paul's got a camera it's a DVD camera, and we went to the park, and he and I filmed it, we filmed a fight scene, and just started off with as with me and him. Then a couple other people got involved, and it became like a three-on-one fight. That project's done. We do another project called Breakdown. Now the thing I took from that movie was I watched Paul and how he did break falls and how he fell, how he supported himself, and. Um, I just watched him and I replayed how he fell and how he supported himself and all that over and over and over again and eventually eventually I tried to practice and mimic how he fell and I dedicated a lot of my time into learning how to fall like him and eventually I got there um, at least I hope I did after we did those two movies we decided to do a project where five people um, fight each other in a big free-for-all style fight and um, that project ended up being more um, more wrestling style like professional wrestling and um, that was also the debut of Daniel the Innovator Chan in our videos and poor guy had to perform with one of the the, the, the worst performers we could have given him in, on his first try I mean literally he had nothing to work with there but um, you know he he made it through the first one and um, eventually we ended up training him how to do things our way and he, again he picked up like that and got better than me and better than you know like he was able to do rolling kick ups kick ups and he was able to do everything we were but in an innovative way which is why we started calling him the innovator I mean he found different ways to do things and even when we started um, Know, doing other wrestling projects like free for all, uh, he was doing things I hadn't I've seen before, but they were done in a different way, like different locks and submissions. From there, we made different projects.
projects and Daniel was involved and it was basically myself, Paul, Daniel and another guy named Steve Robson and um, it wasn't called Von Chan Movies at the time, what it was called was uh, ETW. We charge people for this. I'm sorry to whoever is watching this that bought this and suffered. After the DVD was done and over with, we went on a hiatus and basically we stopped making short movies and just did professional wrestling projects. And the professional wrestling projects went on till about 2011. And that was our last professional wrestling project, uh, whereas I brought my, in my own cameras, that was my production, my money went into it, uh, that was the final one, and on December 31st, we opened up a channel called Von Chan. Now before I get into the channel, I'm going to explain exactly what Von Chan is. Now Von Chan, what it means, it's Paul's middle name which is actually the name he gave himself, we just say it's his middle name, but that's the Vaughn part of it, and the Chan is my, mine and Daniel's last name, and we put it together, and you know, it, it, it sounded like the Vaughn Chan stunt team sounded like the Jack Chan stunt team, we're like, awesome, we got a name! Now, back to December 31st, we created the channel and we recorded ourselves doing a bunch of commentary to the DVD that I showed you guys. And basically, that kind of snowballed the idea for us to get back into this, and I heard Paul Hoden saying, this is our year, and I don't, I don't think he's wrong yet. I mean, I think we did uh, pretty good this year um, in terms of making videos. We've got a lot of goodies coming up for you guys, so stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Von Chan channel, subscribe to Shazalyn's channel because she's the contest winner. Even though it isn't really a contest, but since everybody's doing contests, you know, giving away earphones, headphones, this phone, that phone, I figured I'm gonna give away a shout out and it goes to her because she's awesome and you should subscribe to her. All of you, what are you doing? Go. There, there, subscribe. She won a shout out. You can win a shout out too. Let's, um, if you can guess my favorite video game, I will give you a shout out. I gotta give you guys a hint too, don't I? It's a Super Nintendo RPG. And I've said it around the form. So if you guys know it, say it. Anyway, I aye and goodbye.